In this video, we're going to look at how we can expand the functionality of custom GPTs. Now, this is super exciting because this really allows us to do things that have not been possible in GPTs before, thanks to a platform called Appify. Now, Appify is one of my favorite scraping platforms. I use it all the time when I need AI to summarize articles or get information from a website. And you can see what they have here is called actors. And there's all different type of actors. We've got a TikTok scraper, Yelp, TripAdvisor, Facebook hashtag. And what's happened now is some of these can be integrated into a custom GPT. So we're going to give it a run and see how this goes. I've created Insta Magic. It's the ability to add an Instagram profile or hashtag and get analytics for it. So let's give it a go. I've got one of my favorite sanctuaries here, Ziggy's Refuge. They rescue um, farmed animals in America. As you can see, we've got some incredibly cute uh, rescued farmed animals. So it's called Ziggy's Refuge. So let's just copy that. Let's get started on the Insta Magic, and it's just going to ask us for a profile or a hashtag, and we're going to go Ziggy's Refuge. Now, what's happening in the background is it's calling the Appify actor. So it's using the actions in the configure tab, which we'll look at in a second, and it's running through a script and actually extracting some really interesting data from Instagram. This is going to give us the profile followers, the five latest posts, and from this, we can then extrapolate more information or do something different. So let's have a look what we've got here. It's populating as we speak. We've got Ziggy's Refuge. Ziggy's Refuge is a nonprofit that educates through rescuing abused, neglected, and disabled farmed animals. We've got 60,000 followers, posts, done 4,300 posts. Uh, it's populating a profile picture link. And all of these links are hyperlinks that you can actually click out and open in Instagram. We've got their link tree. And so we've got your yeah, recent posts include various videos and images. Would you like more specific information? Yes, please. Let's see if it can actually start populating some analytics from these posts. So it's just finished. We've got the five latest posts. We actually got links to the videos. We've got how many likes it got, how many comments it received, and a bit of a description of what it actually is. I think you'll agree that this is a really interesting insight into how the future of analytics might start looking where we interface through a portal like ChatGPT instead of using specific data analysis tools. And let's have a jump in the back end to see how this works. So in the GPT, we have a configure, we've got a name, a description, the instructions really are just ask the user what to check on Instagram, but all of the magic sits within this actions here. Now within Appify, we have the actors that we started looking at before. And some of them have the ability to provide the code, the schema to provide the GPT. So inside a actor, we have an app API button on the top right. If you click on that and click open AI specifications, we get a code that we can simply copy and paste into the schema. We then do an authentication using the API key and the bearer and add the Appify privacy policy. Now, if you'd like to try this yourself, Appify has a really good blog post which describes exactly all the steps that you need to go to to get this working. But I will say that there's definitely some limitations at this moment. One of the biggest ones is that OpenAI has a 45 second timeout. So it's some really cool ideas about things we could do but all of these actors took a little bit longer than 45 seconds, even just over a minute, which really stopped us allowing to do this. So as this technology advances, I think we're gonna unlock way more opportunities and potential. But I think this is definitely something to start experimenting with. As I said, you know, the store has a wide range of actors that are already available. Not all of them provide the GPT integration, but as we advance, I think more and more will. 
And this opens up a whole new world in terms of what GPTs can do for us. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.